So hello everyone, it is Power Week finally and that means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update and this time is March 2019 and it is packed with reporting features which we all love, don't we? So really excited. In this video we're going to talk about reporting features, next videos we will talk about uh, analytics and modeling. So let's get started! Okay, so here we are in Power BI. This is the Northwind dataset that we always use, free to use, link down below to see what it is. And uh, we're going to explore the new reporting features. Um, first one, single select on slicers. It is a bit tricky to find, but I'm going to show you. You drop category name onto your canvas, you convert it to a slicer, and then you will find the slicer that you know very well you know the list and then you can change it to drop down there is no button here that would say radio slicer you have to do it in the formatting pane so if you go here to the formatting pane selection controls single select on and then now you can only choose one you know like radio buttons so you cannot control click to select multiple that is you know the behavior that you had before when it was single select you still could control click and a lot of people know how to control click so that was a problem for certain developers okay and so now this fixes the problem completely i think it would have been more intuitive to in here put least drop down or radio button everybody knows that radio button is a single select and it will be easier to find it took me a while so but now you know great update small small improvement possibility okay so this is the first one the next one is cross highlighting accessibility it means that you can click things on your keyboard and it will allow you to access cross highlighting easier okay uh, the next one access interactivity this is a good one let me show you let's pick a product name and let's pick uh, sales and then we put it as a bar chart, for example. And we don't want to have anything selected there, otherwise we get too little data. So let's remove that and remove the slicer. Okay, so now we get all the products, okay? So if you go down here, you're going to see that this thing gets smaller and smaller. And before to be able to click something, you have to go and grab just exactly within the area. And in this particular visual, you still have a chance to do it when it's even smaller. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what they did. You can, you don't need to go in there and click on the, the small thing there. You just click on the category name voila it gets selected okay so no more oh yo yo where should i pick which i think this is great also for mobile use okay so if you want to click on something big thumbs up great impro improvement actually it's the small things that make a difference so selection pain improvement yeah 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 okay so this is it if you go to view and then you go to selection pane you will see all the elements that you have on your canvas all of them and the name is the title okay if you have a title that would be the name and otherwise you will say i think a slicer 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 and when you are creating bookmarks this is a nightmare so you really need to change the name what you had to do before you go to formatting pane and you pick one format in pain and then you on title you change it here and you have to turn it on and then turn it off which it was a pain so now you don't need to do that you can actually let's do the slicer and we're going to call it a slicer category so so as you can see it gives you a title which you don't want but that's fine you just turn it off and then you don't need to go and turn it off and on again. You just change the name. Okay, so it is much faster to do the changes, which is great. 
big thumbs up again. Okay, default tooltip formatting. Um, but, 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 uh, here is the default tip. I want to show you if we put category name. This is still not showing. Let me pick because I have here the big tooltip. Yeah. So let me pick this one. Put it in there. And as you can see here, we have the, the report tooltip, not the, the small tooltip. So this is the difference, this and this. You know, these are the two different tooltips that you can have. So if you want to change these from the normal tooltip, you just go to the format pane. And then on the tooltip, you just speak default. And then it will give you the normal one. And this is the one that you can now format, which is I think is great because it doesn't look so good actually. And when you start putting like legends and categories and stuff, it gets messy. It gets very messy actually. But now you have the possibility to, um, let's see how it works if I put, well, no, I think it, you have to do it there in order to be able to Two thousand and so there we have the years, and then we're going to put as a tool to be year over year, uh, year year to date, year over year, and you know things start to pop up here with all colors and the full blast of stuff. Um, I think it makes it a little bit harder to read. Uh, but you can now format these and just l let's give it a go so you can see if we go to tooltip again and then um, I don't want a black I want it white and I don't want to I want to have this black and this purple blue you see it is still I mean you still want to have like a, some kind of table that you know so for your eyes to, to, to see the difference between them, but it, it is an improvement in any way. You can change the transparency. So we say, no, we don't want any transparency whatsoever. I wish that I could have a frame around the tooltip, but otherwise I think it is easier for the eye to read, at least for my eyes. Um, if white is too white, what you can do is give it a little bit grayish look to it. It's a bit too gray. I'd rather have like a, a frame around it, like a border. Um, maybe it will come later. But I think it is a great improvement that you can actually change it because it changes the look and feel of your report. Now, you see, you have to do it manually on every visual. Okay, I don't know how much tooltips you use, but if you use a lot, keep it black. Okay, otherwise you, you will go mad. It would be great if um, we could change that on the JSON's theme. I don't think it's possible, um, but hopefully soon. So then it's easier. Then we can have the same tooltip everywhere or, or, you know, remove the default function that we have in our theme if we want to do that. But uh, other than why, otherwise it's, you know, going into the right direction. Next time we have uh, web URL. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Image. I'm going to show you. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to show you in a second what it does. But it basically allows you to have uh, both text, button, and image apply. What's going on? apply a, uh, a URL to it. Okay, so it actually crashed. But anyhow, let's go through the next improvement. It is web URL visual actions. And what it means is that with images, text and buttons, you can now link to external URLs. I have imported an image. And uh, on the action um, tab or whatever you call it, you have a possibility to add web URL and the possibility to add a URL in there. So 
If you write curval.com contact, that is my contact page, and it says uh, contact me for help. What you're going to see is that it is red, and red means that you've done something wrong. Unfortunately, I don't know why, it's not enough either that you put www, you have to put the whole shabon. That means that you have to put HTTPS done done to get there. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I know it, but hey. Okay, but you know, you can put whatever else is in there. And then you need to control click in Power BI Desktop, you control in Power BI service, okay? To actually get to the link. And here it is to the uh, contact me page on curva.com. So it works very, very well big thumbs up and a lot of kind of stuff you can do. You can, you know, link to other reports on the service here. You can link to absolutely anything you want. It is great, 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 great. Um, next one, Bing heat maps. You go to categories, you go to category name. Uh, we go to bump, 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 bump. Uh, sales, for example. And then we put the world map. And now you have. Did I put category name? I need to put a location, obviously. Ruth. And this is the default uh, visualization that you'll find, but you have map styles, map controls. Okay, the heat map does not allow for a legend. There you go. So no legend there, obviously. And then you put turn it on and then you get the heat, heat map in there. And you have some possibilities to format it. You can put the radius bigger so you can see it better. Blue on blue. Maybe they shouldn't have picked blue because, you know, the default map is blue. If we change it to dark. Don't know if it makes it better. Grayscale. Better. Okay, so that is better. We can see a little bit better what's going on. Anyhow, so now you have heat maps in big map big maps. And the last one is filter pane improvements. I don't have the filter pane on in here. You have to go to report settings and enable it. So now it is in there. You cannot add things to the filter pane directly. Still, you have to go through the filter pane down here, country there. And before you could delete these things. Now you can only as a user, you will be able to only delete the selection, but not the entire filter. This is not a problem that I had before, but obviously somebody has. So now that is the default. So the consumers, the report consumers will not be able to filter this. And then there are some kind of alignment options in case you use Canvas, so you can put it up, center, or down, I think. So check that out. If you use Canvas, I don't use them, actually. So, But that is all for today. Great, great, great uh, improvements on the reporting side. Let's talk about analytics and modeling in future videos. Until then, take care. Bye.